This extended trench, trench 19, uh, developed from last year's uh, trench 17 where we found the Middle Saxon cereal processing oven. Um, we've extended the, the excavation to 20 metres squared which we've stepped down for safety purposes. Uh, the findings in it have been most exciting. We've re-exposed last year's oven and the second oven structure that we found at the very end of the season that we were able to identify but not excavate, we've now re-exposed and in the process of planning and excavating it and at the moment we've determined the outer wall of the structure which seems to be rectangular is not in uh, pristine condition, it's, it's eroded quite badly but the central fire pit which is being excavated at the moment is looking much more distinct. One object we've found which links us very much to the Anglo-Saxon past is this piece of baked clay. It's come out of uh, the second oven and it seems to form part of the shelf within the structure. At the back of it you can see where the clay has been reinforced by either willow or hazel wattles but most interestingly on the surface of the clay we see the finger marks of the individual that smoothed it out. Now these finger marks can only have been made by a child and we've measured this against a number of children who've been to visit and it seems that seven-year-olds fit these finger marks very accurately. We were hoping to find a third oven uh, over the area of high geom geomagnetic signal which was going to be in the southern part of the trench but we found two interesting things that don't look to be an oven. Firstly we have found a pit the, at the bottom of which is a charred wattle structure which has had daub attached to it which has been burnt and has collapsed down. At the very bottom of this pit is a, a burnt clay floor. We're currently in the process of excavating it and we have a number of ideas what it might be. It may well be a simple structure uh, associated with people working the this industrial area because that's what it must be um, but earlier today in an area where we weren't really expecting to find anything we found a structure which has large flints on it in an elliptical platform underneath is a charcoal rich layer but the samples we've taken out of this have been very rich in a substance called hammer scale um, which is produced when you are forging metal. Uh, when the blacksmith strikes impure metal with a hammer, sparks fly off and these are magnetic. Now if you put a, a magnet in Norfolk soil you'll pick up magnetic stones but they look like stones, they're shiny and they're clearly natural. But with, with hammer scale you can tell that this is not natural stuff and just by putting the magnet over, over the surface six times we've collected a nice collection of metallic particles which must be related to industrial activity and metal working. So this is looking very exciting. 